In this video, I'm going to give you a brief summary of how this DIY resistance solderer was made, and then a couple examples will show you how well it works. Instructions on building this are in other videos, and the parts that you want to build it are through the links below. This book takes you through the entire process of building a resistance solder and a lot more. This is a quick look at a DIY resistance soldering iron made with the fine scale transformer especially made for resistance soldering irons that is uh, available at the uh, polandsbest.com uh, model scenery center. So let's look at what I've done here. This is a demo model. Normally this would be in a box, but if it's in a box you can't see what's done. So it's open. First what we have is we have a 3 volt section and a 6 volt section. That is excellent for etched brass kits and hobby modeling. What I did was simply run some wires from these screw terminals down to these banana plugs for the 3 volt and for the 6 volt. It's as simple as that. Now this system will work on either 230 volts or 115 volt. You set the, the input uh, voltage uh, determination by adding some jumpers. In this case, this system is set up for 230 volts. Again, screw connectors. Over here there's a ground uh, connection, grounds the chassis. If you look below or go over to polandbest.com, you'll see all the specifications on a transformer and you'll see all the safety regulations to which this transformer complies. So on the output side, it's simple. We have uh, the banana receptacles, a couple pieces of wire. This is regular wire from the wall, cable, nothing, nothing fancy. Gotta be <coughs> has to be able to handle 10 amps. On the input side, I put a receptacle. The receptacle, one part ground, goes over. Then we have the positive and negative or two connections as AC. We go to the two points. The wiring diagrams included for you. Plug it in and we now have a resistance soldering unit. It's that simple. You hook up four wires there, hook up three wires there, and you make four connections there. And the thing's safe. It's not a hack. This is done professionally. It's an OEM product. It's ours exclusively. You should take a look at it. Like I said, this is a very brief overview of it. I'll get into more detail in another video, and I'll show you exactly how this can be made. But this will give you a start. Now let me show you how quickly it can solder some joints, and uh, I'll show you the results of that. Resistance soldering, once you have it, you won't use anything else. In this sequence, I'm going to use three volt setting to solder two 0.2 millimeter pieces of brass together to make a gate bar for a crossing gate. You'll, I'm using a solder paste. You notice I put the probe on the brass and you saw no spark, no evidence of heat. However, that joint is made. Notice how clean the joint is. There is no excess solder anywhere. That's beautiful, easy. That's done with the three volt setting. This is what 
a group of those bars look like. Now I'm going to move on and do some steel on brass to make the frames for crossing lights on a level crossing. You note the heat there. I'm using six bolts because I use a solder paste, brass, and steel. I've got to put more heat on to get the solder paste, uh, brass, steel combination to weld. Now, look at the results. I'll clean them up with alcohol, but this is what you can do. Those are fine scale models. Those will make HL scale uh, level crossing accessories. There are more examples in the playlist at the end of this and there's information below the video. If you have questions, comments, or can add something, use the comments box below. Have a good day.